Spring started a couple days ago. It's still freezing cold outside, so let this walkthrough of tropical proportions be a rebellion to all cold weather. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back to Noki Bay for the 100 coin shine. Choose episode 8, this is my recommendation. Not only can you get the most coins in this episode out of all the episodes, it's also the easiest that I find to collect the 100 coins in it as well. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna give me a scuba diving suit, which strangely doesn't help you when you're outside the uh, bottle and waterfall area. You know, the Atlantis area? I don't know why. <laughs> I just never got that. I mean, you've got the scuba suit on over the heck, whatever the heck this is, but it still doesn't help you. Anyway, there was a couple of things I wanted to uh, talk about in this episode because, you know, these 100 coin ones take quite a while to do. So I figured I'll have enough time to talk about stuff like this. The first thing is, is this game worth getting? That's one of the most common questions that I get when I do a walkthrough, is if a game is worth getting. Well, yeah, I would say it is. It's pretty bad if you want to collect everything like I'm doing this game. Oh my god, fish attack! Hey, let me go, let me go! Okay, thank you. Anyway, um, as I was saying, if you want to just go through the game normally, this game is awesome. It's just so fun to play through. Even these 100 coin shines aren't that bad to go through as opposed to other Mario games. Like, I never liked doing the 100 coins ones in Mario 64. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's because that you could so easily die in a lot of the stages because of the bottomless pits. So what happens is that when you die, you know, you have to restart from the very beginning, and you have to collect all the coins all over again, and that's never ever fun to do. Uh, but it's okay in this one, because as you see, there's pretty much nothing that you can die from, unless you somehow drown somewhere, but there's pretty much no places that you can just die from flat out, so... That's probably why I like doing, or I should say, I don't mind doing the 100 coin missions in this one as opposed to other Mario games. Ow, I hit my face on there. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go up here and clear out. What the heck happened there? You know what? I'll go this way. <laughs> oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is that, uh, is why I started doing this walkthrough. Um, I've actually had a pretty rough history with this game in general. Um, Remember that I said just a little bit ago about the blue coins being annoying? Well, that's what gave me a, a pretty rough history with this game, is when I first got this game, like when it first came out, I forgot when, it was like, uh, I don't know, 2001, 2002, 2003, I don't remember exactly, really. But anyway, I, I didn't really like collection quests way back then. I was really young, and I just... It just wasn't my thing back then. I didn't have the patience for it. Now I enjoy doing it because I, I like the aspect of exploration and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of my cup of tea, so to speak, now. So back then I was like, after I finished getting all the shines that weren't coin related, I would just pretty much be done with the game and that was it. And that was pretty much how it went. I, I got a few of the 100 coin shines, but that was it. There really wasn't anything that I could, you know, like, there's nothing that would bring me back to this game. But then a couple of years later, I ended up being like, huh, maybe, maybe I should try this game again. Maybe, you know, because I, I haven't played this in a while, and I thought, hey, you know, then maybe this won't be so bad. So, this time, I'm going to go back to my save file and collect the coins that I missed, you know, the blue coins and stuff like that. So, I did, and oh boy, if you don't, if you don't collect the coins, like, flat out as you're, as you're going, you know, it's very hard to remember which ones you collected before, so you end up going through the same ones over and over and over again, and isn't there something behind this wall? And there's a coin, and I knew that was there! I knew that birdie was there, I was afraid to go there, but I got lucky and hit the wall. Anyway, as I was saying, um... So, after I collected the coins, I was like, I I'm pretty much done with this game. I'm not gonna touch it ever again, because I 100% of this game once before, and it bored me out of my mind. 
basically, because I was tired of looking around these places for coins, and I just realized I need the rocket nozzle for those coins. Curses! Well, I can get a couple of them with just the hover nozzle, but still. <laughs> uh, can I get that third one there? I don't know. Maybe I can. I, just, I need a side flip for that. Well, anyway, now, in recent times, um... I ended up watching Chugga Conroy's walkthrough of this, and he did an excellent job at playing through this game. Well, I wouldn't say flawlessly, of course. No one can play through a game flawlessly. But he did a good job of making the game look pretty good. So I decided on that I would, hey, I'll give this game another try again, and I once again had fun playing it. But I didn't, I didn't go back to collecting the coins. That was something that I still didn't do in my, uh, uh, like, just a random playthrough of sorts, collecting the coins. So I, I, that's not something that I did, I just simply went through it and, uh, that was it. So, I, I didn't really go any further than that. So then what I did was, later on, I got the urge to do this again, and I was like, okay, so as long as I'm collecting the coins all over again, I might as well you know, make this like my last run through the game, you know, like the last run that I'll ever have to do through the game anyway. So, what I actually decided to do was make a walkthrough out of it, and that's how this walkthrough came to be, is that I started um, just doing it like, just because I wanted to play through the game 100% again, and that's how I came to this spot right now, so I ended up starting and making this walkthrough right here. So, yeah, that's how this came to be, and that's why I started it. Otherwise, if it wasn't for Chugga, I would never, ever have gone back to this game, because he, he because the bad history that I had with this game was, it was just one of those things of, like, I just don't feel like doing it again, you know? Because this game is so collection-heavy, and I, I, I now remember why I disliked doing that way back again, because... I still kind of dislike doing that now, but I, I still, I do like collection quests, but not to this extent, like a, a Mario Sunshine. Like, uh, Donkey Kong 64 had another collection quest that was just as bad, if not worse, than Super Mario Sunshine, so you could imagine how that was to 100%, and I did 100%. A Donkey Kong 64, but I never ever want to do that guy, that game again. That's for sure, because that game was, oh wow, that game was just like the bane of my existence with, uh, um, with collection. I mean, oh my god, that game you have to have. If I mean to enjoy that game, the full full aspect of collecting this game. No offense if you have it, but if you have. I mean, but you need OCD or something in order to have fun collecting everything in that game. There's like, there's something like 201 gold bananas, uh, of which you need to take pictures of 21 banana fairies, and to, you also need to collect like, uh, what was it, 40 blueprints or something like that? I, I forgot. I don't know, it's been such a long time since I 100 percent of the game, but I know I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> it's just... Wow, that game is so collection-heavy. Seriously. Anyway, let's go down here into the blooper area, and go to the pot area. You remember this before, now over here you can find a bunch of coins, and what, as well as a 1-up. I'm not even gonna bother shooting the uh, normal bases over there because I should say the larger bases, excuse me, because they aren't gonna have a coin. But these small ones might have a coin. Actually, these look, these look like shells more than bases. Yeah, those are shells, not bases of sorts or pots, whatever you want to call them. Uh, is there anything in those things? No, really? Hmm. I, I could have swore there was some that you could find in those pots. Anyway, I should probably start checking out the wires now. Uh, so I'm gonna start climbing up and I'll see you there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, there's some crates over here. Is this something that I want? Uh, there's a coin. 
And there's another coin. So I guess it is something that I want. Okay, see you as I climb upstairs. Climb up the shelves, excuse me. I said upstairs. Blah. No coins on the shelves, so I'm back over here. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is jump down to here, and then carefully go over to this wall here. Spray. I said spray it. Thank you. Why didn't that work right away? <laughs> anyway, let's. Wait, actually, let's see what's through here. Oh no, that's completely useless. Never mind. And now what I'm gonna do is just drop down here and wall kick my way up to here. Not actually there, but let's just. Holy cow, the camera's bad. <laughs> um, I want to get to one of these places, like here. Yeah, these, these like alcoves in the walls here, you can often find uh, coins hidden in the wall. Like, I'm going to hover over to this one here, and there's nothing here. Dang it! <laughs> uh, let's get back over to that spot to bring back the wall. Yeah, I should say push the wall back in, whatever the heck the uh, uh, tricky ruined people, whatever made it ruins to do. I don't know how they made these stones react to water, but I am amazed. Their technology is clearly better than ours now now nowadays. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> let's continue up here. Let's look for more holes in the wall. I don't think I think I went in that one there. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the heck happened there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. I want to go to this one here. There we go. There's a bunch of coins here. See what I mean about this one having a lot of easily accessible coins? That's why I said to choose uh, episode <coughs> 8 here. Excuse me. And let's try this one more time. And if, if you don't have enough coins from these, I think you're going to have enough coins from these. You can always go to the uh, um, red coin fish area and then start climbing up there. I'm going to start trying to go into these walls here. This contains absolutely nothing, doesn't it? Yep! Yeah. Go back, go back, go back before it goes back into the wall and continue upward. And wait, where's this go? Over there? Well, that's kind of useless. What's the point of that? <laughs> and we're looking for more holes. This one's higher up. Wait, wait, wait. It's going back in. It's going back in. And... Oh, oh, oh. I wall kicked off something and I lost my wall kick. Dang it! Go back here. Thank you. Okay. There should be more coins in the walls, if I'm not mistaken, so let's keep trying. So, here we go again. Carefully. It wasn't all, it wasn't all the way back in as I, as I was wall kicking back up. So let's carefully go up. What about this? All these holes look the same, dang it. Oh, there we go. Here's some more coins. 98? You've got to be kidding me. There's got to be two coins somewhere around here, man. Two coins! <sighs> Go, 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 go! Anything in No, wait, I was in this one before. <laughs> and this one led me to that mysterious, odd wall of sorts that doesn't seem to serve any purpose other than the fact it's there. <laughs> and, wait, wait, does this lead me to that... Um, nine... Uh, yeah, that... That area with the uh, nine sprayable spots, or is it eight sprayable spots? Yeah, it leads me up to here. Okay, I gotta find some points somewhere else. There's a sprayable wall here up on the way to the mole, so there might be more... Well, that sucked. I had the wrong nozzle all. Dang it! Well, I can easily climb back up here with some wall kicks and side flips and woo! I said woo! Thank you. <laughs> So, I believe there's another spot with a sprayable wall coming up, or a sprayable wall spot coming up. And then I'll be able to get the last coin, I hope! <laughs> so, I think the last ones are like over here. So let's go around here and spray these walls, like down there. Maybe they'll contain coins? Maybe? <laughs> Just gotta be sure here. Pretty sure they do though. So let's run them out and hover. 
And then there's another... Oh, you can spray two spots in the wall there. I thought you could only spray one spot in the wall. I said that you could only spray one spot on my blue coin video before. Yeah, I wonder if I should correct that, but I don't know. I think people get the hint because I sprayed this wall down there and that one up there, I mean, open before. You get the idea. Anyway, let's slittle down this ledge here and see if there's any coins along the way. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I dropped down from that ledge area because it didn't have any more coins down that way. And I accidentally went inside the waterfall. That never worked for me before, actually. I don't know why that worked for me now. But anyway, I guess you can collect the remaining coin in here if you like. There's a lot more coins in here than there is on the surface. So as you can see, collecting the uh, 100th coin underneath the water here puts the Shine Sprite on top of that pillar. Now, I've got five red coins in my first shot, Jesus. <laughs> if only it was that easy to do when I got the normal Shine in the area. Anyway, there's the Shine here. Now, if you get 100 coins outside Noki, I mean the underwater area, what'll happen is that the Shine will appear on top of the highest shell on top of that those tightrope areas that you can climb upwards. Well, anyway, if you get it down here, it'll appear on this pillar, as you can see. So collect the shine and end Noki Bay! Woo! Okay, now that we're outside Noki Bay, it's time to go to Pianta Village, and Pianta Village is very, very close to where Noki Bay is. Grab yourself a rocket nozzle, and using this red box, yeah, you do need it to get up there. At least that I know of. I mean, there's probably some way to get up to get up there somehow without the rocket nozzle. There's probably someone who figured it out the way. But anyway, what you want to do is rocket nozzle to go to the secret spring behind the uh, shine gate over there. Well, it's not secret anymore. <laughs> See, over here is. This is the Shine Gate. I gotta climb up here to give you a better view. See this? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll be cleaning off that Shine later, but anyway, this pipe over here leads you to Pianta Village. So let's go and do one Shine in here, just to finish off this part here, because it's a really easy one. Chain Chomp, let's unchain. Uh, pretty much most of the Shine Sprites in Pianta Village here can be done really quickly. And may I add that Pianta Village is the only place in the game that I know of, at least, I don't think there is any more, that there's day and night stages. So like this one's at night, well, there's ones that take place during the day. I think that's a pretty nice touch because this place looks pretty cool uh, both ways. And may I add, the music in this place, very, very catchy. Anyway, needless to say, these chain chomps, as they said, are... Chain Chomp, let's excuse me, are unleashed upon the world. Cool them off with some water. And then what you want to do... Actually, I'm not close to the area that I need to be. Curses! Wait, I am close enough to the area I need to be. Um, see this over here, this spring? Um, once you... Once you get all the... Well, not all the Chain Chomps, um, excuse me. Once you get a Chain Chomp sprayed off and cooled off like that, just pull its tail and pull it... Um, and direct them into this spring over here, and you'll cool them off so good. And uh, this guy kind of hints that there's no better place to cool down but that place. So that's why it's hinting that you need to take these guys and put them into that spring. So I guess I can get this guy in there as long as I'm here. So oh, and look out for this orange goop here. This ah uh, no 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 no. This orange goop here is. Basically, lava goop of sorts, and this camera is not working well for me. Anyway, keep pulling his tail, and camera, work around... Yes, I know, Flood, why are you telling me this? I'm doing it! <laughs> and go... Don't, don't, don't get in my way. Uh, anyway, oh, that worked, okay. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I'm being very reckless here, because this isn't a hard stage at all. I'm just kind of casually beating this stage here. Whoopsie. And give me your tail, thank you. And... Again, direct him towards that spring. Don't touch the lava. Don't touch the hot lava, people. And whoop! Holy poopers! <laughs> that didn't work quite all that well, but it worked enough. And into the spring you go. There should be one more chain chomplet 
we're running around here. Ah, there you are. You're a very bright reddish orange, I have to say, man. I'm going to grab you, and I really hope that lava won't get in my way, and I think it's going to get in my way. I'm just going to try and direct myself between these lava. Perfection! And it's already over. Yes, always be nice to your pets, man. Always be nice to your pets. Too bad Mario's not. I mean, he grabs their tails and uses them to, I mean, it springs them right into the spring. Yeah, that was kind of a pun of sorts. Not a very good one, I have to say. But anyway, I'm going to grab the shine and end off this part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Woo!